In this video, we will discuss how you can create and use pointers in your classes in C++ classes and objects. So let's start. What we will do is we'll create a class called book, like this. And this class called book, it will have two data members that will be set to private. And why setting data members to private? Because we want to encapsulate them. Okay, so the first data member will be a string and I'll call it book name like this. The next one will be string author name. Okay, these are the two data members. Now I'll say here public and I will define the public methods or functions that we will use. First of all, let's start with the constructor that constructs or initializes the object. This constructor will have will receive two parameters. The first one will be the book and second one will be a string of author. Now, once we receive the parameters from the constructor, what I will do is I'll assign them to the data members. So I'll say book name like this, and I'll set this one equal to book. And book is the parameter received by the constructor. Let me do the same thing for the other data member, which is author name equal to author. Now, I'll define a couple of functions, and they will be getters and setter functions. They're very simple to do. Let's start with the getter function that returns the book name. So what I will do right here is I'll say string get book name like this and I'll simply return the book name or the data member called book name. Now I'll do the same thing for author name. I'll say string or how about I just copy this like this, paste it and instead of get book name, it will be get author name like this. And instead of book, in, book name right here, we will return author name, the data member called author name. Now I'll scroll down and let's do the setter function. So I'll say void set book name and I'll give it a new book name like this new book name next what I will do is I'll say book name this is the data member and I'll assign a new value to this data member now let's do the same thing for the other so author name like this I'll say string like this new author name and what I will do now is I'll say author name this is the data member and I'll assign a new value which is the author new author name which is the parameter now these are the functions and data members that I want to define for the book class. Now let's go down here inside the main and let's define a book object. So I'll say book like this and I'll say my book. Now because the book constructor receives parameters, we need to pass these parameters. So right here I'll say something like this. So first of all, we'll give the book name, let's say C++ OOP and let's say the author will be tech by Ralph, okay? So this is it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say C out right now and I'm going to say my book dot get book name like this. I'm calling the getter function which still simply returns the book name or the data member called book name. And now I'll say another C out my book dot get author name which simply returns the author name. Now if we go ahead, compile and launch our code like this, as you can see it works properly. Now, how could you use pointers in the context of object-oriented programming? Well, it's very simple. Just like any other data type, you could create a pointer that points to this object. Okay, so how do you create a pointer? To create a pointer, it needs to have the same type of the object it will point at. So I'll say book like this and mention the asterisk sign because it will be a pointer. I'll say PTR equal to, and we know pointers points to a certain address. So in order to point to the address of my book, I need to assign the address of my book object, okay, like this. So what I did here is I created a pointer of type book. Now what I could do with this pointer is I could use it to access these functionalities. So what I'm going to do down here, instead of I'm going to take off those, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say C out PTR, but look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to say dot and I'll press enter. As you can see here, there is no dot. There is the arrow. Okay. And so when you use pointers, instead of the dot notation, you will use the arrow like this because the pointer points at something. It points to the object. Now, this is it. Let me go down here and do the same thing for the other. So PTR get author name like this. Now I could use the pointer again to call the set method so set book name let's say i'm going to change it to i don't know let's say html and css for example okay tutorial and after this what i'll say is set author name again i'm using the pointer let's say something like unknown like this now what i will do is i'll copy this one again and i'll just paste it right here now let's go ahead and try this out so i'm going to go ahead compile and launch my file as you can see it works properly so this is how you can create a pointer that points to an object you created and to, in order to use the functions with this pointer you need to use the arrow 
function or excuse me you need to use the arrow symbol right here instead of the dot notation now i'm going to delete this and i want to show you another concept which is called the this pointer and the this pointer is a special keyword you can use in the context of object oriented programming now watch this what if i say something like here book name like this and author name like this now watch this those are wrong we need to say book name right now what i did is just i just simply changed the name of the parameters now i'll say author name like this again now watch this c right now doesn't understand what we are doing because as you can see here book name this one right here is the parameter and this one is also the parameter so we're assigning a parameter to a parameter but what we want to do is actually we want to assign the value of the parameter to our data member but because they have the same name there is a naming conflict right here what should we do to solve this issue? Well, we could use the this pointer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say this like this. And because it is a pointer, you need to use the arrow. Okay, not dot. Now I'm going to say this right here for author. And what does this actually mean? So basically, the this pointer actually points to the object. So right here, we have my book, right? The this pointer points to the object. And what I'm doing here right now is I'm saying go access the data member book name inside memory that belongs to this object and go ahead and assign the parameter inside this data member that belongs to the object my book. Okay, so this pointer right here points to this data member and what you're saying here to the compiler, add this one inside this parameter, excuse me, add this one, this parameter inside this data member. And so this is the this pointer and you can use it wherever you want not in the context of fixing naming conflict i could go ahead and say something like this like return this book name like this and so it is the same thing you are returning this book name meaning you are returning the object's data member i could do, go ahead and do the same thing for the others for example like this i'll say this right here and this right here I use it all the time because it is very comprehensive, but similarly, you can use it or not use it, okay? So again, what is the this pointer? It is simply a special pointer that points to the object, okay? So there it is, that is our object. So the this pointer is a special pointer that points to our object, okay? Now, let me go ahead and show you something else. Because we are talking about the this pointer, I want to show you how you can cascade function calls. Let's see how. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete these functions for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function a getter function again but it will be a bit different what i will do is i'll say book like this it will be re the return type of the function so this function that i'm going to create now returns a book object now i'm going to say get book name like this okay what i will do is i'll say simply see out this the this pointer and i will say this book name so I'm, i want to simply print the value of book name, the data member of the object. Now what I'm going to do here, because we need to return a book object, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to say return this like this. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is the dereference operator. Whenever you use pointers, you can dereference these pointers. What I'm doing here is I'm dereferencing the this pointer. And what happens if I dereference the this pointer? Well, basically what happens is that I get the object. Because if I only say like this, the this pointer is simply a pointer and right here I am returning an object of the this pointer or excuse me an object of the book class so because the this pointer actually points to an object of the book class what I could do is I could dereference the this pointer in order to get the object and so this is it but how does this actually works with uh, cascading function calls well let me show you how I'm going to create another get function but this time for the author I'm going to say book right here I'm going to say get author name like this i'm going to say see out this author name like this and now you guessed it we need to say return this like this okay now how does this work let me show you so i'm going to go down here and i'm going to say something like this my book dot let's say get book name okay this works properly right but watch this i could say get uh, excuse me i could say dot notation again and i could call any function i want get author name and so let me show you that it works properly. I'm going to go ahead, compile and launch my code. As you can see, it works properly. So basically, let me explain it to you. It's very simple to understand. First of all, let's forget about this part. And let's understand the first part. My book dot book name. Okay, dot get book name. This one right here returns or excuse me, prints the following message and then returns a object, a book object. 
Again, the this pointer points to a book object. The referencing the this pointer will eventually return you the object. So basically what I'm doing here is that I'm returning an object, which is my book, the book object. So right, this expression right here returns a book object. But what if you go ahead and use the dot notation again and you call the get author name like this? What will happen is that because this one did its job and it returned a book object, it is similar to now what you're saying here is that, let me put it right here, what you're saying now is you're saying my book dot dot get author name like this. So you are returning the object again and so when you return the object you can actually reuse it and to call another function. So this is cascading function calls and this is cascading function calls in C++ OOP and honestly you will not use it a lot or basically you, you will not use it but it is good to know it and it is good to know how to dereference the this pointer and understand it even more. Alright, this is it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for the next C++ tutorial video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.